Howdy folks and welcome to Hawkmire Outdoors. And on this episode, we're going over the Old Hickory Butcher Knife Series. That's right, we're gonna be covering some of the features and the pros and the cons of the knife. We're gonna give it our earn or burnt review. And uh, if, it doesn't, if it ain't up to snuff, it's going in the fire. So y'all stay tuned. The first thing that we're gonna go over is a little bit of the history. This style knife was kind of introduced around 1924 by the OKC Knife Company. Um, they're pretty iconic. You've seen, you've probably seen these a lot in your life. You wanna go over to like the blade steel? Uh, yeah, it, the blade is made of 1095 steel. It features hardwood grips and brass rivets to hold it together. Oak, these knives came from OKC and they have a lot of different variety of knives. We have the 14, the 10, and the seven inch. The ones we're mainly talking about here on the video, but they also have like cleavers and pairing knives that you can choose from. So let's start going over some of the pros here. The first one we're gonna go over is the blade steel. All OKC, Old Hickory knives at this time are 1095 steel. They're real easy to sharpen, they stay sharp. Um, with the 1095, it gives you the ability to hit the ferrule rod. And uh, let's go over the next pro here. Well, one of the biggest pros I've found is the price. Um, I mean, you can have, basically the smaller one around about 10 bucks, yeah, 10, 12 dollars. I mean, even the big ones are like $21. I mean, so, you know, if you shop around and find them the right price, I mean, that's a really good bargain for what you're getting there. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a good value. Yeah. Uh, the third pro is these knives are really easy to modify, pretty much make them to, into whatever you're wanting. Um, we've already made the video of making these into the proper chopper. Um, I made this little Keppert style knife out of one of them and my main knife just did a few modifications to that. So the old hickories, they got a lot of pros to them. Nice, easy to modify, good 1095 steel and a good price to them. Now we're going to go over some of the cons of the knife. Um, it has its imperfections. One of the first ones that we noticed was the handles. Um, when you really start beating around on this knife, whether you're batoning wood or throwing it at trees, like I like to do, um, you notice that it does come loose. Um, yeah. the, the brass rivets will back off. To add on to that, it's not really 
a batoning or you know outdoors knife it's a butcher knife at its core you know yeah it's never made to do the stuff we're putting it through um but an easy fix like you said with the modifications we pop the handles off uh, put some epoxy in there and she's pretty sturdy now yeah so you can make it a sturdy handle it just takes a little bit of work and that makes it one of the first cons on to the next con with the nature of 1095 steel it is going to rust if you don't take care of it or put a forced patina on it like we've done with several of our knives i don't know if you can see that but again going back to our other video we did put a forced patina on these and these haven't rusted or anything like that but i take periodically i put a little bit of oil on the handles and on the blade itself like that just to kind of keep it from rusting and for the next con uh, these knives did none of these knives came with sheaths so if you wanted a sheath that's something you're going to have to go out and buy on your own um, i did buy this one i found it on amazon it was maybe 10 bucks it's a kind of a del cheapo it's a k-bar uh, sheath yeah it's made for a k-bar but these seven inch hickory butcher knives fit right in there so I mean, it's a good fit and it makes it a lot more versatile you can take it out and use it so i mean that that is something you're going to yeah you got to factor that in you're going to factor that in by you know after the fact if you want to carry it um another one everything here came from amazon pretty much um a marbles sheath they make like a 10 and a 14 inch sheath so if you get the big 14 inch butcher knife and you want a nice sheath for it that one will work but just a few cons uh, the knife is not really made for outdoors it's it's a butcher knife at its core and but with a few simple modifications you can make it a good knife for the outdoors well Meyer what is the score does it go into the fire or do we keep it now overall I'm gonna give the I'm gonna give the iron it score yeah I believe I, for the the price I mean it's easy to overlook some of its uh, shortcomings yeah it definitely gets the iron it uh, just a few simple modifications we have videos about it there's plenty of videos out there about it um, it can be a really good knife I mean if anything it's a really good kitchen knife as well just a little bit of maintenance to it you gotta you know you can't just wash it can't dishwash it you have to do it by hand dry it off you know get a little oil on it but all in all it's a good knife so it gets the iron it Hawkmar Outdoors approved it is if you like what you're seeing you know comment subscribe whatever Thanks for stopping by, and y'all have a good one. All right, Austin, you just need to see it really still for this one, okay? Yeah. Put your head back. All right, that apple right there on top of your head. You gotta stay really still. It's imperative that you stay really, really still. Yeah, all right, let's do this.